Good morning, traders. Uh, a little bit later than usual today, but let's get straight into it and have a look at the charts. So yesterday we had this move down into our range value area low. Now, as we were getting this chop around here, the value area low moved down, kind of following price down, and this is now where it is sitting. So I don't need to do this again. You know how I draw these every single day. Uh, this is now our range value area low within the area of 32.650. Okay, so you can see there, really nice touch of the of the value area low there, and we're getting this bounce again off of that. Now, what we were looking at yesterday was a big area of potential support coming in from around 33.400. So this was like the minimum that I wanted to see here from 33,400, basically down towards these lows. It was quite a large area that we were really looking at here uh, for getting a potential bounce underway. If not, then I was looking down towards like lower prices, which I'll cover in just a minute. But so let me just add these on. So for anyone who's not aware, we did have this daily level coming in at 33,390. So that was the start. That was the first area where I thought we could bounce okay so as we came through filled these single prints this was the start of a potential reversal area okay but clearly we chopped down and, and came a little bit deeper than that so we did have that daily level what we also had on there was this daily naked point of control that was a little bit lower and that's what gave us a nicer bounce coming in back into like resistance yesterday so there were definite trades to be able to take off of this and i'm we'll just go down onto a lower time frame and we'll have a look at those in a second so that's actually just look at this daily naked point of control because really that was the one of the key levels for this what we also had within here was within this range we had our point of control of this range here as well so that being quite significant <clears throat> and actually just out of interest I think this was the same. Uh, no, <laughs> never mind. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I can't. Well, we can have a look at where they were, but never mind. Forget that for now. Um, so yeah, we will go down onto the lower time frames and have a look now at what we were getting last yesterday afternoon. Okay, so here was. Again, the, the 33, 400 area that we were looking at and we could see this chop and it was it was starting to absorb here, the price action. And then we had to move down into the naked point of control, which gave us a bounce. Now, the reason we didn't get a strong bounce here, very, very simple, VWAP, okay? So you could take these trades, but if, you're, if you ever take a trade, you take profit at the VWAP. It's just rule number one, like, you take any trade, you take profit at VWAP. It doesn't matter which direction you're going from. Session VWAP is there. You're taking profit on it, okay? And this is why I think that it was just consistently rejecting here. So you could see here we had this move into the daily naked point of control. <clears throat> got this bounce. Into VWAP, rejection. Okay, back in. Let's try it again. Into VWAP, rejection. Fine. Let's try it again. Into VWAP, rejection. Now I know... It's front running it a bit on this occasion, but look, if it happens once, it's going to happen again, yeah? So, three attempts to break this resistance, failed on each occasion, then you search lower. And this is where we came in to this range value area low. We managed to get up, once again, rejection at the VWAP, uh, but then we start a new day. So, what we have to start the day is just a very typical, uh, okay, VWAP's out of the way, we know that's cleared, let's grab this liquidity. So you open the day, you come up, grab the liquidity up here, open, rejection, reversal, down, into the range value area low, once again. And now, we are attempting to get this, pros like, better reversal kind of thing going on here. So it was a really interesting day of price action, and this, to scalp, uh, just really needed two levels. You needed this basically as being your your support. And then the VWAP, you could just keep taking this. And as the range value area low dropped down to price, then it gave you another trade here. And you, again, up into VWAP, start the new day, open rejection reversal, back into your reference. And let's see if now this VWAP can start trending up with price. So it was causing resistance the whole day through yesterday. Let's see now if it can act as support. This is very important. VWAP is always very important. It acts as like your moving point of control 
throughout the day it is telling you where yeah where a lot of traders are looking at and it, again it being just a such a big take profit area you don't tend to take opening trades on it like i, I do open trades on the vwap uh but usually it would be if there's confluence with that <clears throat> or if you get like a really obvious move into it then like this first attempt you're going to short that it's you can well or you can short it if you miss a long you, first attempt at VWAP you can take that short it's fairly fairly straightforward so that just covers what we were going over on yeah Bitcoin yesterday so we're looking at this now as a possible reversal area and um yeah we'll see if we can get this move back up. At this point, the range point of control is still the same. So we do still have this range point of control here, which again, you know what happened. We we knew this was gonna to break to the upside to take all the liquidity up here and then get this move down. Okay, so we are looking at that as being a potential scenario to the upside now. Uh, but what you would also have to do, add on your fibs. Let's see what other resistance we have. Again, if we do take these highs, you would expect a initial rejection off of that to begin with okay uh this would also be i would imagine r786 right up at the range point of control okay so we do have our fib levels giving that confluence we have our monthly open here where this golden pocket will be so that is very significant the monthly open will be a, a huge kind of claim that start trending up and things generally look okay at that stage like if you can we're, we've started the month trending down if we can get back above that then you would expect to trend to the upside okay so yeah um we can remove these now so we'll we'll keep the range ones on and we will have a look now at uh, just a couple of other things that are quite interesting here to me on this chart. So I just want to draw these two fibs on. So this is how we could potentially see a move down. So we know what could happen with the move up, but let's have a look at the move down and let's have a look at the support that we could have below us. So here are two uh, basically Fibonacci pulls. Okay, so the fib retracements. So we have our low down here to our high up here and then we have our this one this one here yeah is from our high up here to our low down here now we can see what we had on the move up <coughs> was from this point coming up into the point five getting that rejection 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 a few times but starting to create these higher lows through that into the 618 reject now, what are we getting here? So this is quite interesting. So look at what happened around here. And now look at what's happening here. Okay, so if we can like basically flip this on its head and start to like maybe reverse this fractal over, you can start to see it's not as clean as this. This was really, really obvious. Like look how nice that curve is coming up. This is a bit less obvious, which is what you tend to get when price is moving down it's a little bit more impulsive it's a little bit more erratic on the way down than it is on the way up because it plays with people's emotions a lot more clearly so we are having this support on the point five here now if we keep testing this so if we come back down if we keep testing this and making these lower highs yep <clears throat> i would fully expect this at this point to break to the downside and then we would be looking at something like this. So the golden pocket, really nice area to get a reversal if we can come down into these levels here. So we do have the chance of a move up and maybe not to range point of control, but we do have a chance to move up up to here into the monthly open. Again, show you where that is, right where that 0.5 is anyway. So that is gonna be resistance because it was back here. So, we do have the potential for this move up into the monthly open. If we can claim that, then obviously we have range point of control above us. And then there was this golden pocket thing here. So big resistance here. Yeah, very, very simple. So then if we're looking to the downside, okay. So I will remove this one and clean this up a little bit. So now we're looking from our low 
the bigger low down here up to our high. So looking at this as a bigger move, we've had a move up and now we're going back down. So what else do we have in this area? Can we add confluence to this? Uh, yes, <laughs> very easily. We do have another daily level in here. Okay, so we do have this daily coming in at 31 uh, 561. I believe that is our new untapped daily. Yes, it is. So we have not tested this daily level. So this currently is the level, the level to the downside that has not yet been tested. So a big level. Okay. So that is inside this golden pocket area. That's a very nice level to be looking at. Now, what else can we add to that? So zoom out a little bit. Let's put on our daily naked point of controls. And we also have this daily naked point of control coming in just above it at 31.675. So that's already pretty significant support or, or at least a level to look at for support, okay? So if we do move down from here, we know our support, the next support that's really interesting to me, yes, we could bounce at this weekly, okay? because that would mean taking these lows, grabbing the liquidity from that. If this fails, we could just do this and get a reversal to the upside. But what I would be looking at much more is that, okay, we've taken that liquidity, but why not come back down and actually fill the naked point of control? Let's test this daily. Let's see if it really is support rather than just a quick like, meh, yeah? So, these are now my two key levels of interest. So we have an area starting from 31, let's say 31.7, yeah, 31.650, 31.675, daily naked point of control, down towards 31.400 kind of area. Okay, I wouldn't want to see things really lose that if we do start to see this and we get this move down, yeah, we'll probably get a little bounce there. But I'd like to see this kind of hold around this area and then get a reversal from that. Okay, so yeah, that is the support. And that, where I just showed you, is the resistance. I think everything else is just an in-between little level, not that interesting to trade. So yeah. And again, you can see here, this was my initial idea and I haven't moved this at all, okay? I have not moved this since I drew it on this day. And this was the idea I had. So we're slightly front running my idea maybe a little bit and it did it back here. So I was expecting first of all, this little bounce off of the, the daily to get that move up. And it seems price is a little bit higher than my line, but it's just really interesting how like almost, almost perfectly this has played out. And again, I have not moved this at all. And I just drew a random line and I've not moved it at all since I drew it. You can go back to these streams and uh, yeah, have a look at what this is. So what'd be really nice is before we do, before this gets to the end of <laughs> where I drew it, if we can get this moved down and then it can start to follow price action again, would be kind of cool. We'll see what happens with that. But that's just a bit of fun. I'm leaving that on my chart because it's been working out quite nicely. So... Yeah, that's uh, Bitcoin covered. Ethereum. Um, hmm. So we do have Ethereum here. And once again, <laughs> I'm not going to show this, but uh, yeah, never mind. Um, there are a lot of people very bullish at these highs. We know there are a lot of people very bullish at these highs. There was uh, a lot of things like, oh, Ethereum's cleared daily resistance, send it. Stupid. I take your money. We go down 11%. Thank you very much. I'm still in that short position on Ethereum. And I will not, I'm not in any real rush to close that right now because it was just a really very simple short trade to take there. You take the liquidity. I've explained this before. You come into your golden pocket, you take the liquidity, you take a short, right? Really nothing much more to it. And at this stage, I am looking for, so this is my target for Ethereum, okay? So we're looking down at uh, $1,933. We could reverse before then. We are at support. So this is decent support. But at this stage, I see no real reason to, to close out of this short position. Um, we do have 
this as well going on. So I will close it if we see a sign of strength. Uh, you know, oh, that's not even a wedge. Forget that. Uh, <laughs> forget it. It's not even a wedge. It's like, uh, it's way too, way too thin. But well, yeah, we do have that down sloping, uh, blah, 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 what do you call it? Resistance <laughs> coming down here. So we do have this down sloping resistance. And if you, we can break that, reclaim the weekly, then yeah, fair enough. Uh, ETH looks okay again. So we'll continue to monitor this. I am still in, as I said, in that short position on Ethereum. And I will be looking for longs if we do come back down to, well, I say this area, I say 1,933, but if we do hit it, I do fully expect this to go quite a bit lower. So let's put this in a box here. I do think we probably see some wicks down into this area, fill these single prints here and just come back into this area of support. So yeah, let's just, let's just take this as a little range. The little inverse head and shoulders range, we do have our point of control coming in here. So we have this other level at uh what do i want to do on this level well basically just here so 1840 okay so we have 1840 we have 1933 that is a area of support that i am looking at and do we have confidence with that of course we do have the golden pocket right there so yeah looks pretty decent to me <laughs> and we have the 786 so we do have both so we have the golden pocket plus we have that lovely little 786 to 83 level that you so often see ethereum hitting so take your pick which one would you like to see hit more of course a deeper retrace would be very nice but i think we'd need a bit more blood and bitcoin to get that just to have interest before we do anything else we're looking at a further 6% move to the downside to a 10% move to the downside on this. And on Bitcoin, we're looking down. Oh, this is interesting. 31,700. So where are our levels? Let's put these back on the chart. Daily negative point of control. You have the range. You have the daily. And we have the fibs coming in here. This will give us from this point here a further... 4% move to the downside. So yeah, I, I think a, a, about a 6% move down, 6% more down on, on Ethereum is likely, of course, if this does get the move down. Everything is going to depend very much on what Bitcoin does. So yeah, ETH BTC, you could say that's at support. ETH USD. Into this four hour AB. So yeah, fair enough. ETH USD is at decent support. So if Bitcoin bounces, Ethereum will bounce, and then we've got our resistance here at 2,100. Um, yeah. Yeah, we have the first resistance at 2,100. So Bitcoin bounces, Ethereum bounces, Bitcoin doesn't bounce, Ethereum comes down here or here. Simple. Uh, Litecoin attempted to hold this monthly, failed come into this again these little points of control are acting quite nicely uh let's move this back over here let's just see where we are for the whole range yeah so into our point of control here on litecoin btc and we came into our golden pocket here so again this was the the long that i took that i closed out at this golden pocket i didn't take a short on litecoin but yeah, we're seeing a move down and we're probably looking down towards $128 again if Bitcoin doesn't move down. Uh, if we do get a bigger move, then $122 is still significant. Link, yeah, falling. But at, at a decent support area, you would say on that. So yeah, oh man. Every time the market gets bullish, uh, you just take these shorts at the moment we're, we're in this mini bear market so shorts are what are what are playing out nicely btc dominance nothing much to say like can you ta it i don't know it's interesting to look at and yeah i mean right now looking like a potential red weekend once again 
unless we do see this bounce on Bitcoin, it's going to be that red weekend that does bring us down into these areas. But again, like what we want, and this would what's really quite nice on a weekend is we do have the opportunity there. If there is not the aggression, then this could just slowly bleed down. And then what we want to do, moving on to this, is we do want to see these naked points of control filled and then chopped around so they don't get left behind on this occasion. You leave these behind, you have a big move up, you're going to come back and you're going to fill them. If you can get a bit of like actual movement and actual value within an area, like this area hasn't been established as having any value yet. It's just been, oh, move in and out again straight away. You've got to come back in and see if the value is really there on this. Uh, yeah, so point of control. On the TPO, there's nothing. We're currently at the daily POC. And yeah, see what happens. I I do think at this stage I probably favor a move down slightly on this. Uh it again, weekend. So I think the last six weekends have all been very, very heavily red weekends. So right now you can just take a short position on a Friday and you wake up on Monday and a profit. <laughs> I take trade weekends and that's basically what I've been doing. So yeah, looks decent for, well, I mean, you know what I mean. I don't think there's anything else I want to say on this. So yeah, I've done 20 minutes. It's a bit longer than usual. Let's leave it at that because I've explained the levels enough times. And yeah, I favor a move to the downside, but we'll, we'll see what happens there. We know the support, we know the resistance if this does bounce. And I will be taking long positions here. So that's just to say, I, I will 100% be taking long positions here, even if it does happen over a weekend. <laughs> um, or at least looking for longs, like obviously, if we just fall straight through it, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually look at what's going on. But 100% want to take long positions at this level. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you, well, tonight. Live stream. Cool. All right. Bye.